So this is our small heart model. Um, let's go over some of the features here in the front. So this is the, this is the right atrium, the right auricle. This would be the right ventricle under here. The left atrium, left auricle, and left ventricle. Deoxygenated blood from the head, neck, and arms is going to enter the heart through the superior vena cava. Deoxygenated blood from the lower portions of the body, including the torso and the legs, enters the heart through the inferior vena cava. Both the superior and inferior vena cava drain into the right atrium here. From the right atrium, blood travels through the tricuspid valve here. Here I have the chordae tendini and the papillary muscles. This is the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, blood will be pushed up through the pulmonary semilunar valve. From there, blood enters the pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk bifurcates, forming the left and right pulmonary arteries. From there, blood goes to the lungs, picks up oxygen, returns to the heart through the right and left pulmonary veins. Both the right and left pulmonary veins drain into the left atrium. Okay, from the left atrium, blood travels through the bicuspid or mitral valve. The mitral valve has chordae tendini here, and that's connected to the papillary muscles down here. Blood is then pushed up through the aortic semilunar valve here, the aortic semilunar valve, and then it enters the ascending aorta. So this is the ascending aorta here. In this model, you can see the branches. This is actually the beginning of the left coronary artery and the right coronary artery. So in this model, those coronary arteries continue to go on the outside. This is that right coronary artery here. The left coronary artery splits, becoming the anterior interventricular artery here, and it continues here as the circumflex. The other branch is gonna be the circumflex artery here. And then here is the coronary sinus, coronary sinus. All right, questions, comments, or panic attacks?